Welcome to this Summer Together program from the Worcester Art Museum. Today we're going to think about crowns. We have artworks at the museum that have crowns and we're going to take a look at some of those now. The first one that we see is this Greek goddess. She has this large crown on her head. It almost looks woven. What do you notice about the crown? What do you think it feels like? This one is a different crown from a Japanese print, and the crown is at the base of that lantern. It's black with flowers. It probably feels very different than the first crown we just saw. This is a Persian painting, and you see the man in the throne is a king, and he is wearing a golden crown, which is one way we often picture crowns on kings of gold. These have golden crowns too. This is a Picture of an angels, right? Two angels flying about with their horns and they are wearing crowns. Next, we have these miniature crowns from our collection and they just show you different designs. You can see the detail that's put on these crowns of metal and the ways they are made. This little boy is wearing a crown. Do you ever wear a crown when you dress up or when you get ready for something? That's what we're gonna look at next. All right, today we're gonna to read this book with crowns, The King of Kindergarten. This is about a little boy who's having his first day of kindergarten, and he is thinking that he is a king, right? There's kings and queens all over the world. Sometimes they dress very fancy, they're very powerful, and so he's gonna feel powerful and strong on his first day, and he's gonna imagine that he has a crown on his head. So let's look inside. This is The King of Kindergarten by Derek Barnes, pictures by Vanessa Brantley Newton. And when we open the book, we see all those crowns. And there's another little one inside here. Let's see. We're gonna be thinking about crowns today. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mummy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to clean you royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far off villages of Osh and Kosh, but gosh, you'll be ready to rain. There he is, getting all ready. My baby is heading to school, mommy will say during breakfast, but you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I, he'll say. One day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Other pictures. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. Going to the school. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember Mummy saying, hold your head high, Greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile, for you are the king of kindergarten. And look, he's looking in the doors and he sees his reflection, he sees himself back and he has that crown on. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. Says, welcome to kindergarten. And there he is in line. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kin kingdom either. There they are, the kindergarten kingdom of friends. Your teacher will go over the classroom rules 
and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, it sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? There he is, on the playground. Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. Look at their awesome dragon there with chalk and colors. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks and you won't mind at all because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? See and their sign says, be awesome. We are kind to each other. After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. That's good. He's got rest time and music and dance time. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. Here they go, back home. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. He had a good day. And tomorrow, it will begin again, another day, as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten. There's his crown again. He's pretending he's at school, pointing to his letters. And there, at the end, are all those crowns again. So see, made him feel great. He had a great day. Sometimes wearing something special or thinking about wearing something special can help us. So we're gonna make some crowns now that you can wear. All right. So to get started, this is how you want your paper plate to look at the end. So you can have eight points for your crown. So you just take your plate, fold it in half, put a crease, fold it in half again, put a crease, and then one more time with a crease. And then you don't have to draw any lines so that the crown turns out perfectly blank for your young artist. And then you're just gonna start cutting out the edges so that you have your eight pointed crown. We'll go over the next steps. Then you wanna just poke a hole in the middle of your plate and start cutting around your triangles. Then once you've cut all the triangles, you're just gonna pop it up and there's your crown. Next, you wanna decorate your crown. You can use markers, colored pencils, stickers are fun. Here's examples of two of the crowns we made. Helmet is wearing them and Helmet would love to see yours. So if you finish your crown, take a picture, send me an email at aileennovick at worcesterart.org. And thank you for watching. Take care.